In this section we are going to look at the array modifier. Let's start with getting rid of the default queue. Press K. Turn off guides and confirm actions. Turn on smart join. And we are ready for building to start another blank project. Click add blank object. Key the name. Let's call it array for the sake of the tutorial. And I'm going to draw an abstract shape. Because why not? Okay, and press zero on the numpad to You can reduce the simplification a little just to give it a bit more detail. Array is among one of the modifiers that comes with uh, sketch and carve. By default, you'll get two copies of the object. And you can increase this value up and down to get more or less of the copies. Let's turn on the options and it comes with a default of one blender unit offset on x axis if you decrease it your uh, copies will get uh, tucked in closer to each other and if you increase it they'll be spaced out more and with this you can control the number of copies uh, we also have rotation and scale controls here you can do things like these Turn off the offset. With a little mat, you can actually, let's say you want to make a 360 degree rotation, 36 degrees for 10 copies will give us a perfect circle. This is rotating duplicates around y axis. Let's set that to zero. We can also duplicate them along z axis. Let's make that also. 36. Now, if your shape ends up all crammed in like this, expand the array profile transform controllers here. We're going to translate the profile we drew on x axis a bit just to give them a bit more. So, this way, effectively, we'll be enlarging the circle. Now that uh, our rotation value is set to 36, if I reduce the number of copies, essentially, this is what we'll be doing. Let's leave it at 10. And let's see if I want to have, uh, I don't know, 16 copies, and I wanted, wanted them to be distributed in evenly in 360 degrees. All you have to do is allow Blender to do the math for you. Type 360 here, divided by 16, press enter, 22 and a half degrees per copy. And here, it's a perfect circular shape. With profile controls you can also rotate copies profile like this to get different results. This looks like a bunch of bunch of old style taps or some like that. You can uh, let's reset this. You can scale the copies. I'm scaling them on along X From the profile, scale them on X and Z. Let's restore these back to their original values. I'm going to show you another way to. Let's make the copies 2A, spread them a bit. Now so you can get some interesting results by combining these modifiers with each other. Now, if you click spin, you immediately something interesting looking like this. The default spin axis is X. If we change that to Z, we'll get this. And let's reduce the spin angle a bit, so we can see it profile. So you can see what, what's going on here. Now I can still control the array. And let's translate the profile on axis and maybe I'm, I'm playing with the array controls right now let's do the offset on y and maybe rotation and we can control the spin angle and spin definition spin steps controls the resolution of 
how many subdivisions we will get. And we'll talk about the spin modifier in another video. So let's turn that off for now. <laughs> so this is the array tool. Hope you enjoyed this. Um, thank you for watching and see you next time.